Well, YouTube, sorry I haven't had a video up for a couple days. There's some reasons for it. First thing, I'll show you um, what's well, been raining here the last two, three days. It's been just kind of giving us some spits of rain, so I haven't been able to uh, swath. But uh, so, I finally built myself a nice sub box for my pickup. And I finally got that done last night. And uh, sounds pretty good. We'll give you a little taste of that here. Yeah, do it right now. Oh, windshield wipers are on. That's barely even turned up. So here we go, we'll give her some onion. you guys but I'd say that turned out pretty well then today I went and fixed uh, Charlie bought a uh, Charlie bought a bike but it was all in pieces so he put it mostly together and needed some help needed some help with the uh, getting the carbs tuned and all that so I uh, told him cash up front and I'd get it done, and I did. So that's all taken care of. And I bought a Harley. And for a guy that despises Harleys, I don't qualify that. I don't despise Harleys. I just, they're not my cup of tea. I think they're overpriced, and uh, you know, they're kind of maintenance pits. Everyone that I've run into anyways, and even a lot of the Harley guys will tell you, oh yeah, well they take a lot more money and they cost more to own, but so to me, you know, being a cheap bastard, I have troubles buying something that's overpriced and expensive to maintain. So, I'll go in the shop here and I'll show you what I picked up yesterday. It's a Harley! Yes, believe it or not, it actually is a Harley. It's a AMF Harley Davidson golf cart. I don't know what size motor is in it, but it, uh, it does run. I got a problem with the diaphragm with the fuel pump, but uh, I got a problem with the diaphragm on the fuel pump, but it does run when I squirt gas in the carb. So, um, yeah, kind of cool, but I'm going to work on this tonight after I clean up the mess from my speaker box building. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I get done. Shouldn't take too much to get it fixed. And if it's going to be waiting on parts, then I think we'll start on the... Uh, start on the international tonight but we'll see what happens so onward ho let me get this mess cleaned up well here it is it's a two cycle single cylinder have no idea what size it is but uh, if somebody does here's the model numbers and such at least I think those are hang on we'll go take a look here we are there's the serial number, and I don't know patent numbers and such. The serial number is 7C11374. So, other than that, I mean, you can see the machine, and uh, if somebody's able to tell me what size motor it's got or any information about it, that would be greatly appreciated however for now um, since I believe that there is a diaphragm problem the first logical conclusion would be to uh, pull the carburetor off and inspect the uh, diaphragm for uh, rips or tears or any defects like that so the first thing I'm gonna do I got the air filter off I gotta take these four bolts for the air intake off and then I believe I should be able to get the carburetor out from there. 
we shall see. So here goes nothing. Okay, here we are. You got the carburetor off, and the intake, and I found a couple things that I didn't like right away. Um, number one, somebody gooed the crud out of this thing, and uh, obviously made a homemade gasket for it. Um, and the homemade gasket actually covers, as you can see, covers the reeds, which isn't good, if I can get this thing on here right, covers the reeds, which isn't good for obvious reasons. And then there is a hole right there that you can see that they've used a sealant of some kind on it and uh, didn't leave room for that hole. Now what I believe that hole is, is a reference point for the diaphragm. Now for those of you that do not understand a diaphragm setup, this is essentially what it is. There's, um, once I get it further taken apart, I'll show you, but there's a little rubber piece in there that just wiggles back and forth and basically works like a fuel pump. Uh, you'll see it a lot on snowmobiles. And so if that diaphragm is ripped or torn, not working in some way or another, then uh, obviously you're not, you're not going to get fuel to your, to your carburetor so it won't run. So I'm going to take that all apart and uh, we'll see if we can't uh, figure out what's going on here. Well, I thought I just had dead batteries, but turns out my camera was just being glitchy. At any rate, we got it running. Turns out the problem that I thought it was was exactly what it was. It was just a bunch of silicone and stuff gooped up in the carburetor. Somebody thought they knew what they were doing when they tried to fix it. Gooped up all that silicone and plugged up the reference hole to the diaphragm. So, now, as you can see, everybody wants to see pedal action, so here it is. Woo! There's some pedal action there. And we're off. Apparently Joe has something dead over there. Look at him go! And we gotta go up and show mom my uh, latest deal here. There we are. Ha ha ha, we like it.